We are the decision makers. We are the builders of our country and no one else. So we all together as people and as the government, we are going to build our new Sudan. So I want ask you I mean some questions uh, those questions are related to you so what were you before the revolution what were you before the revolution before 19th of December okay so I mean how the revolution affected on you okay because you know that the revolution starts with you so if you don't feel the revolution you're not gonna share the revolution is right so you feel the revolution you feel that you want to change the situation that you live in so the revolution starts inside you so what were you do before the revolution and what are you gonna do these current days so to help the transitional government okay to overcome the situation the critical situation that sudan live and what What's your vision for the coming days, for your future as Sudanese? So, and this is our topic today. So, if you'd like to speak, yes, raise up your hand and we're going to share all of us uh, the same topic. Uh, Mr. Hamid. Uh, hello. Uh, it's me, Amir Omar, uh, an English teacher. Uh, we would like to share our information and make an English club here for all of you to participate in. Uh, for people who do not know how to speak English properly, Assalamu uh, alaikum, Ramadan Karim Shabab. The English club daily, uh, it's for two reasons, as my brother Walid mentioned. Uh, the first is to enhance your, your ability of understanding and participating in English clubs. And the second is to display our uh, revolution that is taking place over here into the whole world in order to be seen clearly that we are doing uh, a great job and we are uh, participating in order to change our country so our topic is uh, we need your views your visions toward uh, the future in this transitional period we need to change things we need to change ethics we need to change uh, the deep-rooted understandings or deep-rooted uh, genes that were uh, given to us by the previous regime. We need to change all our behaviors and attitudes in order to uh, meet the new world, meet the new cultures, meet the new uh, changes that are going to take place below us. So for people who do not understand us, for people who do not have that English ability of understanding and speaking, we will give you chances in order to uh, know how to really, really develop yourselves in the English field or in the English language field. It's not that difficult. It's very easy to uh, be developed. So we need only to sh uh, you to show us your uh, desires. We are English teachers. We come here every day in order to give you advices or pieces of advice in order to develop yourself in the matter of English learning or in the matter of uh, English development. So our topic, as I have mentioned, or as Mr. Walid has mentioned, is how to change the beliefs that were deep rooted in our memories or in our uh, personalities how to meet the new world what we need to do in order to get rid of the previous genes or the previous ideas that we had and to meet the new ideas or to develop your, our country by our hands okay or by our ideas and culture uh, mr osman hi and uh, good evening everyone uh, i don't want to speak today i want you to speak and if you were not here, we will never speak this language. So imagine that this place is empty, no one is here. Would we speak? We would never speak. So we are speaking here because of you. So now it is a chance for you to let us hear your voice. Uh, let us start with a simple question Mr. Walid asked. Before 19, de uh, 19 December, and now, who you were before 19 December and who you are today, which is in, a, in another world, what did the revolution add to you? What did it really give you? What did you learn from the revolution? What did you understand? And what is new from, uh, for you from the revolution? This question for every single one of you and we really appreciate if you answer this question. So uh, if no one raises his hand, I'm going to give the mic randomly. So if I give you the mic, you're going to speak. You choose. You, you ask a very, very important question. 
answer. What are you before this revolution and what are you now? In my opinion, I was, I was, I was nobody here in Sudan. I don't know myself, I don't know anybody else. Exactly. But now, after this revolution, I knew myself and the revolution created my nationalism of mine to my country. Thank you, Mister. So uh, now the, the chance moves to another person, and the same rule applies for everyone. If you don't raise your hand, the mic will raise his hand. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for what you have done. I'm so proud of your opportunity. Um, I am Dab, and I'm one of as you say, um, Sudanese learners or speakers. Uh, in fact. I love this language, but for a long time I haven't had opportunity to take a part like this. So I I can't speak as I was, but anyhow I'll send my message. Um, um, the revolution actually it's one of um, the best things that connected Sudanese. One of the best opportunity to make us or to change us um before this time i i have no any patriot or i am not patriot i have no patriotism actually at that time you see sometimes when i depressed from something coming directly i'm going to swear sudan first second uh, previous government this I was but now I, 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 I'm not going to swear Sudan I'm not going to say something bad for Sudan actually indeed so I know that the problem in Sudan was not from Sudanese themselves but from the rulers you see uh, as Sudanese when we are here Oh, these days, if you see, everyone is dreaming to have Sudan, New Sudan. And in this time, we all sing positively. We sing that how to change ourselves and how to change Sudan. Changing will not take place unless we change our previous mentality. You see, um, mentally, as we sing, we have to know that everything cannot be or cannot take place unless be a group of people. Hands to hands through our way as Sudanese um, uh, proverb, Sudanese proverb, hands to hands through our way. Um, here in this place, we are um, about, I think, 30 or 40 people. So this number is enough to hands or to take hand to help each other so as to speak simple language and so as to send a simple message to the world that we are patriot we are protesters and we are original Sudanese from different parts of Sudan thank you so much okay, you thank you so much but before you go so I have a question for you uh, uh, you know that the, the, in the coming days, so there will be an agreement, okay, for the uh, dribbling, uh, uh, delivering the uh, government to civilians, right? So, in this uh, transitional period, what do you want from the government, okay? And uh, I think uh, the, the transitional period will be three years, right? So, what do you want in this uh, period, and how can you uh, help the country in this period? Okay. What do I want for this period from government? Actually, I want to, I want our government to be united. First, I want for them unity, to be united. Rapid support or any part of government or army or any part of government to be united. First, unity will, uh, I hope, to take place. Second, um, I want for us personally every Sudanese to be as um, I mean rule uh, ruler I mean responsible I mean responsible everyone should be responsible 
you don't have to to, to, to break anything for example as uh, we know this uh, protest is peaceful protest yes so we have to respect ourselves and our government thank you very much thank you so much so you said that uh, we need them to be united and all of us should be united uh, as mr fox always say that uh, united we stand individual individual we fall so that's it so uh, for the people out there yeah show yourself i'm gonna uh, choose anyone randomly if you don't raise up your hand yeah thank you over here hello everybody uh, good evening or good night as well as you like uh, my name is uh, abdulatif uh, a student at Khartoum university uh, and it's really uh, awesome for you to have such uh, topics uh, as you see uh, uh, where were we before the revolution and where uh, were you were we uh, after the revolution uh, it's really a great uh, question and uh, fantabulous I can say so uh, before the revolution uh, I was uh, as my friend said uh, I can say I was nobody uh, I was close I was uh, locked I was tight I got no freedom I was like unknown and I can't even uh, look clearly okay that was me before the revolution and after I become an open-minded I can communicate I can participate I can say whatever I can I can go where uh, wherever I can so that was really awesome and this is uh, what uh, the revolution gave us and it still will give us and we'll, we will be having a great deal and about the uh, what we are going to do in the, the time of transition uh, so till now the transition is not on our hand and after we uh, have it on our hand this uh, the first thing should be done is like uh, all uh, the, the 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 previous regime uh, members should be accounted okay should be accounted and should be like should be judged and should be like uh, okay taken to the prison if they have pro crimes uh, and what I would like to say also is like that so Sudan without the the previous regime members is better than Yemen. Okay, can you think? Can you imagine? Okay, so uh, only you know like uh, what I like from the uh, from for, for the for the 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 coming uh, president or the coming uh, okay, uh, they have to do one thing. They have to be frank, honest and they have to you know fulfill all the needs of sudanese whether they are from north south east west okay and as john Gering said okay uh, discrimination will not unite us islamization will not unite us okay uh, uh, okay only sudanism can unite us and uh, thank you very much Uh, thank you, Mister, for what you've said. It was uh, really awesome. And now it is a chance for you guys. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. We are here, and I have never imagined that we are came here in, together to speak together. Before we are came here, before we are came here, this in this area. At that time, before before we came here in this place, we are living in the uh, we are living in the third place with the people. I have I have no suitable word to say to them. We are living with the gangsters. As these people, they are stole us, stole from us. This, uh, they are stolen from us. The that things that we are, everything that we 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 having. 
I want to say that before we before the revolution start, we are tied up with those people. We have no freedom and we have no peace. We have no anything to stand up. All things that which we are going, we are disappointed with those from from those people. Nowadays we are here and the revolution is start. And now we are in one hand and we are we are uh, we are come together here in this place and all the easy all the culture all the language today we are dream the new Sudan to be as like the the developed countries and we hope that the Sudan be like the other developed country and we hope that and we we are we are going to achieve that goals to be a greatest country in our north thank you so much thank you so much yeah, please uh, give him a hard clap uh, he's so active by the way he comes here every day to share his opinions uh, his experience and his emotions to our Sudan and to us um, uh, for example the people who are I mean living here in the sit in the headquarters sitting so anyone else yeah yeah welcome okay uh, thank you very much indeed uh, good evening everybody uh, first of all, allow me to thank the teachers for giving me this nice opportunity so as to discuss about very essential and discussable topic. And um, um, really, we are here today. And why we are here today, everybody knows. So we are talking about revolution, right? So where we are before the revolution and where we are now, so if you ask me this question really before the revolution i hated sudan too much because we lose democratic we lose peace we lose freedom if somebody asked me about sudan i just insult sudan too much but right now i have a great patriotism i so patriot i love sudan now uh, because everything is changed Everything is completely changed. So I hear that my brother said, how could we can change our attitude? For example, how could we change our attitude? So right now, really, we change. We change. We format our nervous system. So now there is no any segregation. There is no discrimination. There is no any racism. So we are integrated together here. If you go in this, uh, you know, move by this way, you know, the main road, you found that all the people, old people and young people, women and men and whatever, they are integrated together. They love each other because of revolutions. So, but what is need? to do what is needed for us before the after this revolution so uh really there's a lot of things we should have to focus but if if we are not ready somebody may grab it up our uh what so-called chance so what i'm going to you know advise the use read you know read a lot and feed your feed your mind with a very uh, great things because by the time being, intellectual uh, capital, it is not less important than materials. Because we need that to build ourselves, we need to build our country economically. But economically will not be built unless to be well awareness. We should have to make a national campaign. A national campaign for your awareness. How could we put the bad things from their mind out? It is very important things. And in my view, in my own perspective, I think that agriculture nowadays, it is Sudanese economical backbone. 
So we should have to focus. So and agriculture, it doesn't mean that to be, for example, you have a great of uh, money, a deal, you know, um, a great deal of money. Because a lot of people say that we have no any capital, so as to create our own business. But I disagree with you nowadays. If you have a great idea, from one idea you can create a business. From only one idea, you can create a business. So for my own self, I ask you just to create agriculture initiative. So for all use, and we know that the land of agriculture, for example, so we should have to agree with each other. We should have to put ourselves or our hands over each other. If you are come to support each other, for sure that we will find someone to support you. Never mind. So by this way, we are going to create our own self we are going to create our own business. We cannot depend on somebody else. This is what we wanted. So anyhow, I don't want to prolong my speech more than what I have said. I would like to give chance for other fundamental people so as to pull out their idea. Uh, my name is Sleiman Muhammad Umar, and uh, thank you very much indeed for giving me this chance. Thank you so much, Mr. Sleiman. He said that uh, you should feed your mind before feeding your stomach even. So. Because uh, we need to build the country, so you cannot build the country unless you are aware. So to be aware, you should dedicate yourself. Go and read. He said, read because the face. I mean, uh, uh, in Quran said Ikra, right? So read and read and read. So we're gonna have a, another reader over here, I suppose. So uh, I think this one is very enthusiastic to speak. And the rest of guys, if you are not going to answer this question, just be ready for the next question. Because no longer you are sitting here without speaking. If you are going to answer this question, you are very welcome. And if you are not going to answer the question, we have many questions. Because as you know, as Sudanese people, we are so generous. We give all the time. Uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's me, Hasabu. I'm a member of uh, No for Racism, Yes for Diversity Initiative, which is hanging over there. Uh, actually, just have a bite to start by telling you about the initiatives. You, you, are, you can all see over there, No for Racism, Yes for Diversity. Okay, this is this is a one of things that as a revolutionist, as youth, we should work on it. It's not about just asking for demands, it's just asking for the uh, TMC or for the civil transitional led government, which is supposed to be uh, the, the, the deal supposed to be met uh, by or this week, actually. But as for the initiative, as youth, actually, I just met them by chance. We are working on it. One of the things is to raise the awareness among the Sudanese people to change the narratives, to change the mentality towards the positive. And also, we are working on raising the awareness on all levels because I guess nobody accepts racism. Nobody accepts racism. So, but racism is deeply rooted in Sudanese society, and we are working toward changing the mentality toward a positive mentality that we accept each other because our color of skin does not define us. What is truly defines us is our humanity and our humility of accepting one another because we are all human beings. So racism at its all levels that we are working on it to fight it. Of course, uh, there will be no zero racism, but we will try to do our best in order to uh, to to build uh, social justice, uh, social peace, and we will call for diversity. So this is one of our uh, our goals. This is one of our our actually the one of the points of the initiative that is working on it. So we will start, I guess you, you all, as, uh, uh, as you will be messengers of peace, you will be ambassador, Wh wherever you live, you will do your best as youth. This is a part that we should work on it. So as for the TMC or for the government, of course, I will, I will, I will, I will call for, for, um, uh, for making the slogans that we have been calling for it, which is peace, justice, freedom. So we would like, we should build a state of law that respect the right of every and each single body. And then 
the transitional led government should take a decisive and uh, swift action actually towards those who gave command and those who executed command of uh, killing uh, the protesters and torturing or jailing the protesters. So this should, should be swift and decisive and yet should, there should be fairness. So we should uh, build a state of, uh, of, of law that respect each body, no matter what, who, either who is, he is with the protesters or against the protesters. Coming back again to the initiative, sorry. Actually, we need all of you either to be a member or just you work on your own. The area where you live in order to raise the awareness of people. We, we, as we shouted against the dictator, uh, he's a racist. We do not want to get back to the point because we reach the point of no return. Is the start of raising the awareness, calling for diversity, social peace, uh, social coexistence, peaceful coexistence among Sudanese people, where we will show the world that we are truly uh, peaceful demonstrators, that we accept the opinion of others, no matter how either they are with us or against us, because we are all human beings, we are all citizens. That's all. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, I like even the uh, what you said. This group said that uh, the Kala does not define you. So imagine with me, if you just close your eyes, if you close your eyes, can you close your eyes, all of you? Close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes like me. Can you see me? Do you know what my color is? Now open your eyes. Do you know what my color is? While you were just closing your eyes, you don't know. Yes, you were hearing me, listening to me, right? So here you are hearing my mind. You're listening to my mind, right? So not my color, because color is nothing, okay? So, and even uh, uh, if we just uh, uh, look under the color, so we are all having the same thing, bones, organs, the same. Color does not define you. Your mind defines you, that's it. So as simple as it is, I'm supposed Sami. Uh, I actually like the point that you mentioned, and we need a lot of initiatives this way in order to be, uh, or in order to display a very good picture of uh, what Sudanese people are really uh, like. Uh, we do not need any discrimination, not racism, not anything like this. Uh, by establishing uh, or constituting, uh, constituting as much initiatives this way, we are going to show our real uh, identity that we are human at the f first place then after that our diversity will help us a lot in order to distinguish each other's potentials and ab abilities capacities and this stuff uh, for the point that he has mentioned about uh, like putting the previous regime, uh, regime members uh, under the, the law and he has mentioned all the people who are killed or who are killing demonstrators and this stuff. Uh, there are people who were working uh, or they belonged to this regime. Uh, they were ministers and other administ in other administrations, uh, but they have done nothing. Uh, those are the people who really deserve to be uh, under justice. They ne really need to be uh, in jails and, er and somewhere else or to be punished by the law. Uh, because since they have uh, or they were given uh, an administrative role to be done in the community or in the society, they have done nothing. They have only exploited and used or weared out uh, the resources and they have consumed all of our energy. Welcome. Uh, we need to share our views to the world that we are capable of uh, building our own country by ourselves. Therefore, uh, I am generously asking, or I am uh, politely asking people in order to participate in our English club. I have seen newcomers. Uh, I want to welcome you, and I want to give you chances to welcome yourself. Or Tariq Ahmed Khalid, uh, software engineering professional, um, project manager, and uh, part-time lecturer at the University of Khartoum, faculty of engineering. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Tariq Ahmed Khalid. I am software engineering professional and project manager. 
and uh, part-time lecturer at the University of Khartoum. Thank you. Uh, hello, assalamu alaikum wa uh, My name is Sharif Babikir. I'm, uh, uh, I'm a professor at the University of Khartoum at the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Uh, my specialization focuses on uh, electronics, basically. But I have lots of interests like uh, software, software development, and embedded systems, and so many other uh, disciplines. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anwar Dafalla. I'm an assistant professor of computer science. Uh, I was based in Doha, Qatar, until recently, when I came here to Sabina. Thank you and you are welcome and just let me uh, tell you what we are speaking about here. Uh, we are uh, asking a question which is who you were before the 19th of December and who you are today? Which is, in another word, what did the revolution give you until now? Very difficult question, however, uh, some sort of uh, reborning for me really. Uh, we are uh, the old generation, you know. But uh, this situation uh, really makes us <coughs> new. It's a new born, a new trust in ourselves. And uh, in fact, before that, we are so frustrated and we think there is no solution. And uh, we started to think of maybe quitting the country forever and so on. Uh, now, something uh, new. <coughs> Uh, for me, I'm full of spirits and full of power to give and to continue uh, what we have been doing uh, all that uh, the last years. Uh, so uh, I think I'm a new, new man, new person. Okay. Uh, well, as, as uh, Dr. Tariq said, uh, I think it is a very difficult question for me uh, to explore. Uh, I think our journey has been a bit strange because we are that uh, generation in the middle, I would say. Uh, last time I, I spoke here, uh, two days ago, and I defined the generation. What is a generation? Generation is defined, if you take one, one, um, one century, which is 100 years, normally they divide that into three generations, which means one generation is about 35 maybe. Uh, or less uh, years. So I'm sure every one of you here is uh, less than 35 years old, apart from uh, <laughs> all three of us uh, sitting here. Uh, so basically we are in the second generation, if you are the first uh, generation. And we were, uh, uh, well, I would say a bit lucky, or maybe not lucky, uh, to witness the, uh, the, the, the 6th of April of 1985. And uh, then the disappointment of uh, 89, uh, when uh, the Ingaz took over and destroyed our hopes at that time. Uh, our generation, most of our, of, 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 uh, our friends and colleagues uh, of our generation, they decided to quit. Uh, looking back at uh, my uh, colleagues at university, I would say about maybe 90% 90, 90 of them are outside Sudan right now maybe more than 90%. Uh, I myself spent quite a lot of time outside Sudan in, uh, uh, in the United Kingdom. I spent about 20 years uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, working there, I, I had my PhD there, and then I worked at the university there at, as a lecturer for many years, about 10 years or so. And then I worked as, as an engineer uh, uh, in the industry there. Then I went back in 2010, and I decided to come back. So I, uh, I rendered my resignation, and I came back. Uh, it was a very strange and very mad decision for me to make. And I have been here now for about 10 years, and every, every time, maybe every day, I, I find someone who asks me the question, why did you come back? And I was, I, I, most of the people cannot understand, uh, maybe even myself cannot understand why I decided to quit and come back. Uh, I had only one intention in mind, and my friend Tariq here knows uh, probably most 
of uh, the reasons behind me coming back. I had one intention, uh, maybe it is only that intention which, uh, which actually has, has uh, triggered all of your generation uh, to go out and fight for freedom. I came back uh, to serve my country. I'm sure every one of you, every one of you who is Sabiha, you know, <laughs> has exactly that, and, and I, I'm, I'm very proud of that, uh, of that slogan you are using, Hanab Nihu. And I hope we all will contribute to building or rebuilding our country again. So, uh, talking, about, talking again about generations, I, I know I have spoken more than I should, but uh, uh, th th there are a few messages that I want uh, to, to say here. Uh, normally, when I, when I sit down and talk about, uh, about the generations and the generation gaps and so on, uh, and, in, and, and in fact, the, uh, the lack the lack of links between generations. I have been suffering from that and I have been thinking about that uh, absence of links between generations for quite a long time. And I know for sure, every generation uh, looks down to the generation behind. Our generation thinks that we are better than you. We think we are superior in, many, in too many aspects. We think we are cleverer than you. Uh, maybe we, we used to do that before the 6th of April, but now things have changed. Uh, but but this, this is a fact, and, and, and I know you have suffered from this, uh, uh, from this uh, phenomenon, I would say, for many years, because we always tell you about how good our generation was, and how good life was 20, 30 years ago, and so on. So we use, our generation uses, uh, used to, uh, to, to look down on you. But myself, uh, when I look at my uh, students, and I know I work at the University of Khartoum with very good, bright students at my, uh, at my department of electrical engineering, and I get actually a very high, uh, uh, very high caliber students uh, in my class. And I know these students whom I'm, I'm teaching, they are far superior than myself when I used to sit on those uh, lecture rooms. They are far superior than myself. And I know for sure, when they graduate, and I normally supervise my students and so on, and I know for sure, this, these graduates are far superior than myself when I graduate. When I graduated at that time, very many years ago. So, uh, and this is why, uh, I remember when I came here in, in, in 2010, I used to think, or, or I, I used to convince myself that I will stay here for one year, maybe two years, and then I will go back to the United Kingdom, and I have a house in the United Kingdom, I have my family sitting over there, my wife is there, and my son, who is at, at your age, uh, was studying at, in fact, he was studying at the high school when I left. Uh, I left him and his mother there, and I decided to come uh, to, to come here. Uh, so I thought I would go back and work there again, uh, maybe to enjoy life, to enjoy good life over there. But when I came here and I started to work, I decided, no, I'm not going to go back. This is where I should be, and this is where I should continue to serve these students and see them uh, to the point that they built this country and rebuild the country and we have all together, we have a better life and a better future together. So now, now, after the 6th of April, our, aspira our aspirations are higher, our hopes are even higher, and our targets are limitless, in fact. So after the 6th of April, and uh, your question about uh, what, about the 19th of, of December doesn't matter which is which date I use, but our hopes are very high, and in fact our hopes are built upon you because it is you who are going to build this country again and make Sudan a great country, in fact again and again. So I wish you all the best, and I'm sure your future is brighter than I thought it would be.
Thank you very much. So thank you, Dr. Tariq. Thank you, Professor Sharif, for uh, giving an inspiration, uh, inspirational uh, statements. For me, I was part of the the protest in December and early uh, January, and I was detained by the National Security Intelligence Service uh, at uh, Shendi Shendi uh, Shendi Park. Uh, during that protest, the hope was limited and managed. I can manage my expectations toward change and the future of our country. But since the detention day, I became more hopeful toward the future because I met with too many youngsters like yourselves, Ajil and Rakib Ras. I met lots of them and I saw the determination and how eager they are towards bringing about change in Sudan. So before 19th of December, I was hopeful, but I can manage my expectations. After that, I am very, very hopeful toward the future and I'm not worried about the future of the country because I saw the generation that's yield our generation and their determination toward the future. Hope is the key word here. I'm hopeful because of you guys, because I see these eyes and their inspiration for a future, a brighter future that is well deserved because people sacrificed their blood sacrificed their time and their resources because they want to change and change is coming we are now counting down toward the 20 the 72 hours that determined by the the, the transitional security council and we need the civilian government this is coming change is coming because of you guys and thank you very much Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to let the chance for the uh, audience to ask them if you have any questions for them. Question for them, for the doctors. You participate? Okay, come. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Okay, well, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praise and thanks due to Almighty God and peace and blessings to his final prophet and messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Really, to excellency guests, to excellency people, all my colleagues, let me say so. You are all welcome and appreciate your attention here in this English club. Really, I'm so proud by you people, the protesters. Really, I like you, all of you here and the leaders over there. Um, let me say, I'm so happy, I'm so glad by this you know, spectacular situation, all of the protesters, the people around me here, coming here and sharing their opinions in this place, in this prestigious place, let me say so. Particularly, I'm so proud by you. And before I go further, I am Abu Ala Al Mari, Jabril. Now I studied in the Faculty of Education over the University of Khartoum, and I'm proud of that. Right now, I'm a teacher at a Al Aas Mashriq School here in Buri, the city of revolution, the city of the protesters. Um, do you know what? When I was kid. My father, which is great father, told me to go to school. Okay? A primary school and learn and study. Freedom and liberty. Okay? It's not asking me to go to school and get results and such a thing. It said to me, go to school and learn about freedom, liberty and peace. 
try to learn to be a human, all right? And when I went to secondary school, Khartoum al Gadima here in Buri also, I was a man of Buri over, over there, all right? He said to me, go to school at that prestigious school and learn freedom, liberty, and peace. And also, when I entered the Faculty of Education, University of Khartoum, said to me, learn the previous things which I told you. Okay, concerning the question which the leader asked, um, what we were in 2018, I'll say we were strugglers. We were struggling towards the previous government. You know them. I don't want to say, you know, things for them because their situation became clear to everyone. Okay? Forget about them. They are nothing. They are nothing. That's why I'm going to move from them. All right? Um, and right now, in 2019, we are stragglers. Okay? Till to get our aims from them to have our government okay our government that we want to have freedom and liberty and peace the things that we need um do you know the situation of Sudan right now when I was studying at the faculty of education in one of the books okay written by Alan Patton okay cried the beloved country um, there is a speech, okay, which affected on me. Father Vincent, okay, one of the characters, the fundamental characters of that book, said to Kamalo, the hero of the cry the beloved country. All right, Father Vincent said to Kamalo, your anxiety turned to fear, and your fear turned to sorrow. But fear is better than sorrow. Fear is a journey, a terrible journey, but fear is a journey, a terrible journey, but sorrow at least on arriving. Right now, we have anxiety of the previous government, Zalimin, do you know that? Um, right now, we have a sorrow for our shuhada, okay? We are really deeply sad to let them go and right now we are staying here as a Matitia and we're set up bin Naha till to get our rights and really I do thank all the leaders which you know responsible for this club and heart club for them and thank you thank you thank you very much the great protesters and keep on going to till to get what you want till to get your goals Still to get your aims and thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Please give him a harsh love and how great father he is. And I would love for your father. Uh, another chance, yeah, will you? Welcome. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the teachers from. Uh, Khartoum University, Dr. Sharif, it's really very nice to meet you today. I heard a lot about you from your uh, students. Uh, my name is Qusay Mustafa. I'm um, one of uh, the students of uh, Khartoum University, Faculty of Education. Abul uh, Ala is my colleague. Um, uh, I really don't tend to speak in public. It's my first time to talk in front of people, so uh, pardon me if I just made some kind of stupid mistakes. Um, I'm a final year. It's my final year at the college. And uh, uh, I worked for um, uh, many international schools as an English teacher. And now I work for the British Council as an invigilator. Um, really, really, it's uh, like when I came here to this place, uh, English club is like it's the most thing that interested me like I haven't heard about it before I was just you know sitting with my friends over there and then uh, I heard some people talking in English I was like wow really like there is an English forum here 
Like, I haven't heard about it before, and I, I didn't find it in the social media before, but I'm really, really so proud of the English people over here, all of them. Thank you so much for just giving this opportunity for the youth, you know, to, you know, to talk about the things and to practice their English, mostly. Um, for the question, talking about what we were and what we are now, right, during these days, it was really like, I cannot describe it, but we were like, um, it's not like nothing, but I remember the old days, Allah Jawa Daniel, old days, the, <laughs> like the old days, we were not like, we were not like afraid, but we were not cooperating. So, with the cooperation, we are here today. Like, if we could do this before, okay, but we weren't cooperating, and we were like somehow afraid. I remember my friend was saying to me, like, the old days, if you wanted to write a, a, a post in the Facebook, you should look around. Maybe if he calls Kidekon, you know, sitting beside you, and definitely a Sikh and the, these things. You're, you're just you're gonna be baited no way out even if you want to the court if you want to go if you just went to the police station No one is gonna help you But now we're gonna build our country. We're gonna build a pure country Where there is no one is going to be discriminated Okay Yeah, peaceful country and everyone will get his right. That's what we want. Okay Now what I feel it's really, I can't describe my feeling, but hopefully, and we're waiting for the countdown to see what will happen exactly. And uh, we hope, we hope to get the country that we want. Hopefully. Um, I think that's it, that's all. Thank you so much. So, glad that are we here, but having all of you here, uh, you, uh, most you mean uh, ambitious and uh, let's say, um, Powerful, energetic, I mean, youth. So, this is how Sudan should be. So, by such a youth, and even doctors and professors, uh, are we gonna build our country? Um, the last chances, the last chances for people because time is running, yeah? The last chance. Uh, before a chance is given to him, just I need to say something for professors and doctors over here. Uh, and I quote, it's uh, a quotation for Nelson Mandela, and he says, uh, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond the measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? We were born to make manifest the glory of God that within us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. We collaboratively have achieved a great advance in our revolution by your attendance with us and by your collaboration and contribution in this uh, revolution we all thank you a lot in our by having you alongside within us uh, we need to give a chance for our brother hi there my name is Gerson Razi and uh, I come here to participate uh, and about your questions about uh, how we were before 20 years ago okay first of all first of all i uh, just want to say i'm so sorry that i haven't stopped in this spot because i have been here from four days you know but i didn't you know like so it, it's like interesting or something like that until i heard some people chatting in english you know uh the thing i like about uh, there is people representing people you know and I come from a very, you know, I don't want to say bad because it's my community, but I want to say he don't accept me, you know, because I have been a revolutionist since, you know, like since I took my first, you know, first, first saw the light, you know, this life, okay? I've been living a very unique life, okay? Even my folks at the house say, what's wrong with you you know you, you, you're just not normal you know uh i just want to say i'm here representing jokia people jokia niggas because i'm a jokey 
Yeah. After the secondary school, I didn't uh, get to the university directly. I took a stop, you know, like two years or maybe three, because I have been, I lost faith in education, formal education. And that was a problem with my folks. They tell me, who are you to tell, to tell, to tell us or to say the formal education is bad? I'm telling them it's not bad, but something wrong in it, you know? At that, at that uh, year, I didn't know what's wrong, but I felt it. That's why I got out of it, you know? But after two or three years, you know, they, they pushed me to get into university, and I get into university. I didn't graduate yet. My Dubai is now graduating, and that's sad, but you know, I'm gonna move on. So, uh, I just wanna say, before the 6th of April, or in the, in the past year, since the December, I was like in a cage all of my life, you know, like when you are a revolutionist, in everything in your life, in every aspect in your life, I felt like I'm gonna die, you know. But after the December and this uh, started, took started, I was in the league, you know, okay. I took Bombay in my leg, you know, directly. You know, I have been into hospital for like 10, 10 days. So I just want to say, there's something I didn't like it about that dude. He said, uh, Buri, the capital of uh, this revolution, you didn't saw Mundurman, okay? Huh? You didn't saw Abbasia, you know? We are the lead, you know? Okay, uh, I just want to thank you. I don't like lights, I don't like microphone and speakers, so this is my first year, so thank you. Uh, thanks for having you here. Uh, we don't want to make it like uh, it is kind of discrimination to refer the revolution to one place and another. Uh, it is our Sudan. We are building it. As the doctor mentioned, Hanab uh, this logo that we are using, it's our country. Uh, before you get this started, just somebody's here wants. Uh, let me just add a simple point that look guys, we keep saying here uh, united we stand and individual we fall. Burri without Al Abbasi is nothing, and Al Abbasi without Burri is nothing. And this is kind of discrimination that we are speaking about, and we need to eradicate and eliminate this uh, discrimination. Look, uh, what is your tribe? You are Sudanese. From where you are, you are Sudanese. Is that what we need, and that's how we need our Sudan? Good? So, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Isam Adin Azadin. I'm a student in the University of Khartoum, Faculty of Education. Uh, the previous three speakers, you know, they were, uh, all of them, they are my colleagues. Uh, for me today, actually, I'm going to say how lucky am I, you see? Because this is my first day in, 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 in this place. I, today I came from uh, Lubayit. Uh, and don't, don't be afraid, we were some midnight in Lubayit, you see? We were doing all the things over there. You know, uh, I think uh, there is no difference. You know, uh, difference between uh, between the the headquarter in Norway and the headquarter here. Just just the, the amount of people. You see, uh, as you know that Norway uh, is just a state, and uh, in the population, you know, in the population is not like Khartoum here, and uh, they are also might be a slightly different between you know uh, two two uh, states. For example, in Khartoum here we have such a kind of uh, intellectual professors and doctors and so on and we have also intellectual people here. Uh, in Alubayit actually we are lacking for such a kind of people and uh, I, I have heard during, you know, um, since this revolution started, I always, you know, uh, in touch uh, with this all the kinds of social media, and I have heard that there will be a walk out for the all, you know, states or cities uh, to Sudan after we gain our victory. You know, I mean, after we have a civilian government and after we could describe ourselves that, you know, we are victorious, we are going to have a walk out, I mean, group of people to visit each city or each state in Sudan here. And uh, I hope all of you to visit us in a way uh, over there and uh, you will be highly welcomed by all the, you know, uh, the people who are living over there. And uh, for, 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 for the question, you know, uh, what we were and... Uh, and what we are right now, right? For me personally, I was nothing, you see. And uh, right now I feel, or not yet, not yet, but after, you know, 24 hours, 
I'm going to if if things come uh, you know come a long way you see and uh, things come right and as we expect and as we wish and as we anticipate and so on uh, I'm going to say that yes I am reborn again you see I come to a new life I'm going to build myself I will start from the zero you see and uh, because because by all accounts and by all concepts, uh, things are going to be changed. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure of that. I am. I guarantee that everything will be changed. And uh, as you know, our professor said that we are going to build the new country, which can you know satisfy every you know person or every citizen who lives here. A country which respects you know the values or the concepts of you know equality and uh, justice and uh, you know there is no discrimination, segregation, and so on. Uh, because also uh, at the beginning of a speech i said that uh, how lucky am i right and in the same time uh, i i think i have a bad luck do you know how because i i come at the last you know and uh, there is no time i think to talk more and more uh, but uh, i do appreciate the chance which you have given me and uh, i hope that i can uh, come here again and discuss many things and we can have our you know we can have new visions and new